Whew. Uh, uh. Oh my God. Forearms. Please don't tell me you're that person that goes into the gym and trains their arms really, really hard, but neglects to train their forearms. What good is having a good set of buys and tries if you got pencils for forearms? I'm gonna show you guys a forearm workout that's gonna jack your forearms up and give you that crazy Popeye the Sailor look forearms. So let's take this over here. I'm gonna start out with my all-time favorite wrist curls. I got a 20-pound bar, and I am gonna do this for however many reps I can get out of it. It might be up to 50. We're gonna take it up there. Every contraction at the top I bring up, I'm holding and squeezing for that split second. And honestly, I don't even count the reps. I just do this until I just can't do any more. And then when I'm at that point, I reverse my grip. This is usually how I start my forearm workouts. With these wrist curls, straight bar wrist curls. Yeah, I'm starting to get that burn. Wow. Oh yeah. Ah. Ah. Okay. Now I'm going to switch my grip from underhand to overhand. And I'm going to start it all over again. Right now I'm concentrating on the top part of the forearm. And I'm going to superset this with a single arm dumbbell wrist curl. And I'll do two to three rounds of this. Ugh. Okay. Whew. I just curled this way. I curled this way. Now I'm going to take the dumbbell and I'm going to curl up and down like this. This is going to hit every single angle of the forearm. Oh my God. Ah, this is a 12 pound dumbbell. This is an eight pound dumbbell. Ugh. And I switch. Man, my forearms are starting to get pumped. Uh, I don't count the reps. I just go for the burn and until I can't realistically get any more reps. Uh, okay. Whew. Immediately switch to dumbbells and pick up where I left off and just continue the repetitions. Wow. Okay. Ooh. All right. Good start. 
I started my first set like this, and I ended it like this. Now I'm going to start my first or my second round just like this. And again, I'm not counting the reps. I'm just going to go into failure. Ooh. And failure is going to come fairly quick. Because oh. my forearms are getting really pumped. If you notice, there's no resting between the sets, except with the single arm. But you're looking at what, a minute or so? You're not gonna lose anything in your pump. Oh, God. Uh. Whew. Oh, shit. Uh. I go back to the dumbbell. Again, I got the 12 gonna rep this to failure. I'm not counting the reps. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. I grab the eight. In all honesty, a forearm workout should take you no more than 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. Ugh because you don't rest between sets. You're just doing this continuously, keeping the blood in that muscle. Uh. Uh. Uh, whew. That was two sets. Go into my third one. I'm grabbing the underhand grip again. And again, reps to failure. Uh. Yeah, my forearms are screaming. Uh, uh, whew. I could barely hold the bar anymore. Whew. Uh, whew. Uh, uh, oh my God. Uh. Last set, I'm just gonna use the eight pounder. My forearms are toast. Wow. Uh. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're gonna move on to another exercise. All right, this next exercise, again with this 20 pound bar, wrist rolls. I hold the bar out slightly from my body and I just start rotating my wrist and rotating the bar. And I'm squeezing my forearms. Ugh. And when I hit that point where I can't do anymore, I reverse it. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. Okay. Whew. Whew. Wow, my poor, my forearms are pumping. Do it again. Uh, I can barely hold on to the bar. My forearms are so pumped. Uh, and I'll go reverse it. Uh. Oh, shit. Holy cow. When you do this type of a workout, 
you're gonna hit failure very, very quickly because you're not giving yourself a chance to rest. You've got so much time under tension when you're doing these repetitions to failure. The skin on my forearms feels like it wants to split open. I can't even, my hands are numb. That's how crazy the pump in my forearms is. I'm gonna do one more forearm exercise and then that's it for this, for this workout. So let's go over here. All right, what I'm gonna do next with a set of 10 pound dumbbells is reverse wrist curls. I'm gonna have the dumbbells to my side, more towards my backside, and I'm just gonna rotate the wrists upward. So let me turn my back to the camera and show you. Dumbbells are right here at the back of my hips. All I'm gonna do is rotate the dumbbells up, squeezing the contraction at the top. Uh, wow. I can barely hold these dumbbells. My hands are friggin' pumped. Whew. Whew. Okay, that's it. Uh. All right, what you saw pretty much is what I do for a forearm workout. Now, when I do this workout, it's right after I do buys and tries. So I'm already coming into this with a slight pump from holding the barbell with the biceps and a little bit of the triceps squeezing the bar, you're gonna get that little bit of a pump in the forearms, but that little bit of a pump is not enough to stimulate muscle tissue to get the growth that you want. I mean, look at my forearms, they are freaking pumping. You have to train your forearms like any other body part. You gotta train them, you gotta isolate them, and you gotta take them into the pain zone and I'm telling you, you're gonna get big forearms all the way around if you do this workout. Last thing you want is to have a, a nice set of shoulders and buys and tries, and from the elbow down, you got nothing. You know, that's like a guy with a big, huge upper body and has sticks for legs. It looks freaking stupid. Last thing you wanna do is look stupid in the gym, okay? So, I hope you guys got something out of this workout. There's a link in my description for my training courses, and this workout is in those training course videos. I also have a PDF link for you to get a free download on how to start your fitness journey. So check out the description. You'll see those two links below. If you have any questions, reach out, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.